Alright, I scared it. What's going on today? What video games show that graphics truly aren't everything? RimWorld, heard of that. Dwarf Fortress, heard of that. MetHack, I haven't heard of that. Let's see if anybody else mentions it. Uh, Years of Might Magic, played those. Uh, Another NetHack, okay. Uh, focusing on gameplay instead of graphics, it spawned the dev team thinks of everything catchphrase in its fan base. I have it downloaded. It's right here. I have NetHack. Reddit says it's good. NetHack. Oh god. Uh, who am I? Uh, I'm asking the exact same question. Who am I? Uh, Ginger. No. Uh, shall I pick a character's race, role, gender, and alignment for you? Uh, no, I kind of want to do that. Ooh. Oh god, there's so many options. Um. Uh, uh, um. I am caveman. I've got to be a gnome. Pointy hat. I'm a male. Uh, neutral, gnomish caveman. Okay, sure, let's do that. Okay. Welcome to NetHack. You are a neutral gnomish caveman. Okay, that looks scary, so let's go ahead and figure out how to play NetHack. How to play NetHack. Lesson one, movement. This looks Texas promising. area homeowners, if you have a power meter like this on the side of your house, you can go get away. paid to go solar go for away. no... Oh god. Um. Okay, let's let's see. Hello YouTube. Welcome Hello. to NetHack. I'm Brickroad and I've decided to teach you Hello, how Brickroad. to play one of the best and most daunting games. Now that's automatically scary. Best. Okay. Cool. Hello. Oh god. Okay. Um best and most daunting. That's scary. Ever made. The goal of NetHack is to explore a vast, randomly generated dungeon full of monsters and treasure until you okay. find the mythical Amulet of Yendor, which you bring to we the High Altar that. on the Astral Plane and offer to your deity in exchange for immortality. Ooh. This is called Ascending, and it's one of the most difficult accomplishments in the history of gaming. Oh god. Playing NetHack is about applying knowledge and making good decisions. I am good at neither of those. Making good decisions, any of my friends that I play R6 with in any of my other videos will tell you I am not good at making decisions. Nevertheless, good decisions. There's no element of timing, so there are no twitch or reflex challenges. The game okay, is essentially good. paused while it waits for you to give it a command. You okay. can give commands as quickly as you want, but you're not penalized for stopping, examining the game state, and deciding your next move based on your surroundings, current condition, and what you happen to be carrying. Okay, that's Learning scary. to take stock of what you have and what you're facing is one of the most crucial skills you'll learn Wait, in your NetHack career. Many roguelikes are about making do with what you find, leaving you at the mercy of uncaring random number gods every time you play. Oh God. An unskilled player might think that of NetHack as well, because the game is almost brutally random as far as what sorts of equipment you find and when. However, this is where the aforementioned application of knowledge comes into play. Okay. Usually, in NetHack, if you really want to find a particular item or for a particular effect to happen, you can make it happen if you know what you're doing. So I'm a sorry, lot of the what? game isn't so much taking your inventory and hacking together a solution as much as setting goals and then finding ways to achieve them. Okay. That's just a brief overview of the game, and if it sounds extremely complex, that that's because it is. That was the brief overview? Getting to that... The brief overview of R6 is fa is realistic Overwatch in a 5v5 where you're trying not to use a hostage. That was a, that was a two minute long overview. R6 is literally 5v5 shoot him. Um, okay. Gooey, chocolatey core of setting goals and making decisions means getting past the high barrier of entry. 
namely memorizing the huge amount of glyphs, symbols, and commands required to simply play the game. Oh, there's a That's huge what I'm amount. For. Only you will be able to determine oh, whether or not you'll ever ascend. But I can take you part of the way and teach you how to play the game. Okay, that sounds good. If you scroll down to the doobly doo, you'll find a link to the NetHack homepage where you can download okay. the latest version of the All game. Right, did from pretty much any platform you can imagine. I play the Windows version with ASCII graphics, so just I keep that in mind if you're on a different OS or playing with a tile set. I've also included a link to the NetHack wiki, a vast and valuable source of information on just about every topic in the game. Feel okay. free to bookmark this page and use it judiciously as you learn to play. Okay. Judiciously. That sounds good. Oh god. Wait, there's a demogorgon? Yeah, I was in Stranger Things. Oh god, am I gonna be facing against a demogorgon? Oh no. Jubilix, Yen Oh god. Let's. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. When you start NetHack for the first time, you'll go through a process of character creation and then be dumped into the dungeon with some rudimentary equipment, a friendly animal, and absolutely no clue what- Wait, I have a friendly animal? Um, is that my friendly animal? I'm gonna hope that that right there is my friendly animal. Be aware to go. Even figuring out how to move can be overwhelming, so that's where- Wait, I have to figure out how to move? I didn't think this was going to be like birth. Full start. Lesson one. Lesson one. Movement. Movement. Oh, God. Oh, First that's scary. First thing to do is type an at symbol to turn off auto pickup. By... First thing to do is type an at symbol. At. Um, I think I did it. I pressed and held shift and pressed 2. I think I did it. Default, you will automatically pick up any items you see laying on the floor, even if they're useless or too heavy to carry or potentially harmful to touch. Ooh. We don't I want that. Touch there are reasons things. to use auto pickup, but that's another video. So now you're excited okay. to start running around. Your first instinct is probably to reach for the arrow keys, and while they do work, yeah. you will quickly find that they are a suboptimal way to I have, I have four arrow keys right here. Walking in straight lines only is intuitive, but also slow, which will cause you to get hungry faster, be unable to outrun monsters. Wait, there's and hunger? just cause a whole host of frustration. What oh, you no. really want to use to move around is your numpad. That's the thing on... Um... I have a 65% keyboard. Um, I'll be right back. Okay, so I have a keyboard with a numpad now. That's, that's good to know. It was buried in my parents' office, but I have one now. On the right side of your keyboard, it looks like a calculator. Use the two, four, six, eight keys to move in straight lines, two, and the four, one, six, three, eight. seven, nine keys to move diagonally. Three, seven, you nine. can move to gotcha. any of the eight squares adjacent to you, provided nobody else is currently standing there, in a single step. Moving okay. diagonally will help you save steps, which might not seem like a big deal at first, but they do add up. Monsters have no qualms about moving diagonally, which means you'll never outrun or outposition them if you're not. Learn and love okay. the diagonals. The next thing you'll probably do is hold down the key to move around, just like you were playing Zelda or something. And while this does work as well, you'll probably die pretty quickly if you try it. I Remember, didn't think time that that doesn't pass you do. in that hack unless you give a command. Giving the same command repeatedly, for example, holding down the numpad key to move around, will cause time to pass rapidly and leave you wide open to mistakes. Okay. Making mistakes in that hack can prove fatal, and okay. we want to avoid them if at all possible. Gotcha. To understand why Don't moving hold around buttons. is so dangerous, let's examine the move command a little bit. When you okay. press a numpad key to take a step, you're not actually issuing the command to take a step. The command you're giving is, attempt to attack any monster standing in front of you, and if there isn't one there, then take a step, and then look at the stuff on the floor, or, if you're blind, 
try to feel what's laying there with your hands. That. I'm sorry, all of that is issued in one keystroke. Um, if I press the button six, the first thing that happens is attempt to attack any monster standing in front of you, and then if there isn't one, take a step and then look at the f stuff on the floor, or if you are blind, feel for it with your hands. Do I get to lean with Q and D? Sounds like a mouthful, and it is, but that's what the game checks for every single time you push a direction on the numpad. Oh, so God. moving down a direction can cause you to get stuck on a powerful monster who, naturally, gets to attack you every time you bump into it. Bumping into a monster also gives every other monster on the level a chance to act, which can lead to situations where you get completely surrounded without realizing it. Holding um, down an arrow button is not a smart way to initiate combat. I'm not good at not getting surrounded. Let's also six. examine what Never is part of that this. move command. When you push the numpad, at no point do you make any attempt to look at the square you're moving to to determine whether it's dangerous. You can and will fumble directly into water and lava and traps. Figuring out... Okay, so that's water, that's lava, that's a trap. Gotcha. Whether it's safe to move to a particular square is your job, not the game's. So what have we learned? First, you can move in eight directions, not four. And second, to take mm -hmm. one step at a time. Once you've mastered that, you have a few other movement commands available to you. Okay. Since the numpad is essentially a combined fight, move, look action, what if you want to only move or only fight? Don't worry, you have a button for that. If you want to take a step without mm -hmm. attacking in that direction or looking at the objects on the floor, type M before pushing a direction. This will make you take one step Nothing more, nothing less. Okay. If a monster happens to be standing there, you'll harmlessly bump into it instead of attacking it. And if there are objects on that square, you'll step on top of them without looking down to see what they are. If you're blind, you'll take a step without trying to feel what's on the floor. Okay. If you'd rather attack in a direction without taking a step, type Shift F. You'll make a melee attack in whatever direction you press, whether Shift or not F anything's fight. standing gotcha. there. Gotcha. If nothing is, you'll attack thin air. If there's an invisible monster there you don't know about, you'll hit it. You can also use Shift F to attack pets and peaceful monsters if that's your fancy. There are also commands for moving far distances. Type G, then a direction, to walk a straight line in that direction until you see something interesting. That hack considers monsters, items, I don't think I'll do that. and branching paths to be interesting. So using G is a quick, safe way to move around levels you've already explored. You can also use oh. Shift G, which is the same command, except the game doesn't consider branching paths interesting. You'll walk all the way to the other side of the room or corridor you're in, regardless of doorways or side paths. Okay. Finally, you can combine the distance of G with the safety of M by typing Shift M. This is like Shift G, except you won't stop to look oh at anything God. laying on the floor. This, this is, is really useful for walking across maps with lots of trash laying around. Uh. That just leaves up and down. To move up and down, type a less than or greater than symbol. You think of these two symbols like arrows pointing your way through the dungeon. Less than points okay. backwards or up. Greater than points forwards or down. Okay. Obviously, you can only move up or down if you're standing at a staircase, which, conveniently enough, is represented by a less than or greater than symbol on the map. Gotcha. There's one more direction that NetHack recognizes, although you can't really move there. Anytime the game prompts you for a direction, you can type a period to direct that action at yourself. Zapping a wand of death at yourself is generally considered a bad move. Yet another stupid death. So, okay. now you know a little something about playing that hack. I'll be making more of these videos in the future, but in the meantime, there's... Okay. Net hack. Um, okay. Um, I'm using my numpad. Okay. Um, can I go down? Uh, um, hell, oh. I swapped places with a slasher. Slasher falls into the pit. Did I do a thing? I just did a good thing. Uh, um, 
let's go down. Nope, up. Stairs are fall solidly fixed to the floor. Gotcha. Let me go. Oh god. Oh no. God. Um. Yeah. Yeah. So, oh my God. No. 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 That. Oh God. Give me that. That direction. Okay. Just let me go. Down. Side. No. Uh. Okay, 